Solomon Islands, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about that tonight. And China is on the move in the South Pacific. We're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. Solomon Islands, ladies and gentlemen, yes, yes, yes. Um, our lovely dear friends, the uh, Chinese uh, people and the Chinese Communist Party who leads the country, of course our dear friends, who we import most of our uh, iron ore to, um, you know, have decided that, um, you know, it was within, within their benevolent wisdom to uh, have a kind of military uh, base in the Solomon Islands. And um, they've done some kind of a deal with the Solomon Islands government. And obviously that's kind of rattled uh, a few feathers, uh, ruffled a few feathers and uh, rattled a few sabers so to speak, down here, down under, as uh, we think, why the hell do they want that? Well, there's a simple reason why they might want that, to invade Australia, ladies and gentlemen, to invade Australia. That's why they want it. That's why they're doing it, okay? And I don't know why they still have the port of, port of Darwin, you know what I mean? I don't know why they have, still have that. But I think the new Labor government is even getting nervous about that and talking about rescinding their lease of the port of Darwin. So, you know, it's a very strange situation, what's going on in the Solomon Islands. Um, Penny Wong, our new foreign minister, isn't that wonderful? Penny Wong, you know, is now flying around the world. Um, you know, she's going to save us apparently, I can't believe that. But like, um... Uh, well, maybe she could be all right. I don't know. We'll get, we'll, you always got to give a new government some time, and you got to give them give them a bit of uh, what's the word? Give them enough rope to hang themselves, as uh, Andrew Denton once said. And um, so, you know, I mean, uh, it's very interesting. Um, you know, I mean, China does appear to be on the move, and obviously, I think the situation in the Ukraine, uh, where Russia has attacked Ukraine, um, really, you know, any time from now on China can attack Taiwan obviously the first move on the chessboard they're going to make in the South Pacific is Taiwan that they consider to be their territory it's obviously where General uh, Chiang Kai-shek um, is where the nationalists fled to when Mao took over so you know I mean obviously Taiwan um, is a country that the West says it will defend I mean I imagine it'll just probably be a UK situation where we just arm Taiwan so that the poor Taiwanese people will get murdered um, and, and then China will eventually uh, take that country, I imagine. Um, but then what else do they want in, in, in Southeast Asia? Obviously, w through Belt and Road, they've extended their influence into the South Pacific. Um, New Zealand is a part of it. I have no idea why they've allowed that um, trader, Jacinda Ardern, to sign up to that. And we have our own trader here in Victoria. Obviously, Daniel Andrews wanted to be part of it. But one of the one good things Scott Morrison and the Liberal government did before getting kicked out at the last election was they did um, put the kibosh onto Belt and Road in Victoria. So apparently we're not part of that anymore and it does seem that the new Labour government is aware of the threat from China even Penny Wong who uh, you know, could well be an agent for China but maybe not um, we'll give her a go so uh, we'll see what's happening ladies and gentlemen but it's obviously a very bad situation um, you know why does China want bases um, in the Solomon Islands it's something like a thousand a couple of thousand kilometers from you know basically Queensland so they could uh, launch an invasion of Australia from there it's, it's a terrible situation obviously it's a serious uh, military situation that we need to consider and um, you know I think we should all be thinking about it and we should also be thinking about cancelling um, other kinds of um, what you call it infrastructure that that's owned by China like the port of Darwin and any airfields they might own or have control of up in northern north of Australia because we've seen the Japanese do this ladies and gentlemen of course during uh, World War II try and attack um, you know parts of um, northern Australia so you know it's a serious issue and um, you know, this uh, Solomon Islands move is the first uh, kind of, uh, you know, move on the, on the chess game in, in what's obviously going to be uh, a Chinese kind of um, sweep into Southeast Asia. And obviously the main thing stopping them is um, the United States and probably Australia. And, uh, you know, we've got to be careful we ourselves don't get Ukraine, ladies and gentlemen, because believe me, the globalists would love that, you know having some kind of war going on in the top half of Australia or something, maybe even the bottom half, they'd probably find a more receptive audience if the Communist Party came up from the bottom, up through Victoria. I mean, I think they'd probably get voted. They'd probably do better than the Teals over in Turak and Keong and seats like that. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're in serious trouble and the world is going to hell in a handbasket. And that's the way it is here at the report from Taker Mountain.